So the engine is finally dropped. Hey Vangabonders, you're about to watch us drop this engine and get ready to build the other engine. So all I did was attach the power from the coil straight to the fuel pump, turn the key, and now we're pumping gas out of the tank. Oh. Cut, actually one, two, there's only one. Only one state. <laughs> now that the muffler's off and we got the tin off, uh, it's time to get some of this wiring out, fuel hoses out. When removing old fuel line, make sure you always have the right tools for the job. Ah, and just like that, you have your fuel line cut. <laughs> That's the yellow submarine? <laughs> I can't tell you what it meant just for legal reasons, but you'll find out one day if you... What am I doing? Instead of, instead of moving the top cushion and looking into the top where it's easy to do this, I prefer to do it where it's extremely hard. Uh, look at that. Easy. Peasy. See, if you have the right tools, it's a K-pop watch. I already got it off. I work on a Volkswagen, you're going to look like this. You're also gonna be just about as insane as me because working on these is for crazy people. And spin that while I hold it back here. Coming off nice and good. Oh, 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 oh. Give the engine a pump. I just see it like coming apart on, on top of me. Oh, get this. <laughs> you think the Vangabonders is all about jet skiing and riding ATVs? Oh, no, no, no. In reality, we're under this thing getting extremely dirty. You can watch us go across the country in an old VW bus that's probably gonna break after we get to Nashville. In which case, I will fix it on the road and you guys will learn about how to fix your vintage Volkswagen on the road with nothing but the tools that you didn't steal from state lines. So I'm gonna show you guys a secret technique. So you gotta remove, I mean, pulling out the stud, see like this, makes it a lot easier to drop the engine. So what you do is you put two nuts nut nut tighten them together and then you could just unscrew the stud like so mm. okay we we're gonna have to do it like this see the whole stud is spinning and we're taking out the stud secret techniques secret techniques give the engine a little pump, a little pump. You gotta make sure your mustache bar is nice and loose so you can once you got that sliding action, you know she's ready to start yanking forward. Actually, it's a good idea to take off this coal. Take off this coal because sometimes it'll hit. Actually, I think it hits every time and I always wait for it to hit before I take it off. So you just take off this 10 millimeter, pull off the main thing here and then pull off this little thing and it goes on the negative side. Don't put it on the positive side. Been there, done that, it blows up. What's she stuck on? Now come along with me here, and look at this. You gotta make sure the input shaft clears. If the input shaft doesn't clear, you're gonna bend something. And by something, I mean your input shaft. <laughs> and if you bend your input shaft, you're gonna have no more inputs. GG. Been there, done that. Check out my 1976 episode. <laughs> there. Hold on. You wanna pull this out, before it bends, been there, done that. <laughs> and now check the input shaft once more. 
Oh god, it's still touching. It's touching a little bit, man. This ain't good. <laughs> Slowly is the key to success here. This is about the time where the cold touches here, and I'm like, not this time, nope. You ain't gonna get me, Volkswagen. Oh boy, oh boy. If it feels like it's falling off the jack, it probably is, so make sure you check that. Make sure you keep your feet clear at the bottom of the engine. As your feet go closer to the bottom of the engine. Whoa, whoa. Ba -da -bum -bum. Ba -da oh, what? Is that the input shaft, man? Some strings getting pulled, I think. Oh, shoot, that's the throttle cable. Yep, that's the throttle cable. That's what I was thinking. Oh, no. <laughs> you got a full throttle, buddy. Guess we learn something new every day, huh? Yeah, make sure your throttle cable is pulled out before you go, because I might have just ripped mine. Guess we need a new throttle cable just for, like set. Oh, I see what's wrong. There we go. Oh! <laughs> I don't think that's gonna clear. Uh, the carburetor definitely ain't gonna clear that, man. The carb ain't gonna like this. Four bolts later, you should just be able to go like this and pull this up. And then. So the engine is finally dropped, and we have it in the garage right next to the short block of the 2.0. Got all the pistons and their respective cylinders. You're gonna watch us assemble this engine in an upcoming episode. So it's, it's getting late, we've been working all day, but I don't think I've shown you guys this. Check it out, we got different kinds of lights now. Uh, as you see, we have this curtain to the curtain covering that there. There's gonna be one there covering that so we won't go blind. Tomorrow I'm gonna be tearing down the engine and transferring parts from the 1.7 to the 2.0. Oh gosh, I kissed it! <laughs> and here is the beautiful Tangi next to Dumpy. It is a 1963 Ford dump truck. If you guys are interested in seeing this thing uh, restored, you should honestly let us know because when we come. When we get back from our trip, we would definitely love to restore this thing. Show you guys what it's like to uh, have an old dump truck. Can you do a front flip off of that? Or can he do a front flip into grass? Apparently, that was crazy, did it hurt? If you've seen the old episodes, and you remember what our ceiling was like, what everything in here was like, you would be probably about as excited as us. Because this interior is so much better now. And uh, it's been so fun to do. I definitely recommend um, a project like this for if you want to get to bond with your best friend. So if you liked that video, make sure to hit the like button below. And subscribe to the channel because we're going on a road trip across the United States in this epic 1973 bus. Make sure to check the next episode where we're slapping together the new engine and rebuilding it. And stay connected with us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. We love you, Vangabonders. As always, thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Hold on. Cheers. Five thousand, guys. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a satchel, uh, make sure to it's hit that satchel. button there. Watch the next video here. It's not a